Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Brianna Wilson. I'm a certified dementia practitioner and the founder of Bamboo Care, where you can find us at letsbamboo.com. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is how to manage picking and scratching behaviors in people with dementia. So if you're currently dealing with this issue, then this video is for you. Now, there can be many, many reasons why a person with dementia would pick at or scratch their skin. For example, it could be due to a specific skin condition like psoriasis or eczema where they feel itchy or like something is on their skin. It could be due to general dry skin. It could be a medication side effect which is often overlooked. There could be something on their skin that looks or feels different than other parts of their skin and it makes them want to mess with it. It could be due to stress and anxiety. They could be experiencing tactile hallucinations, which is the false perception of sensation on the skin or even inside the body. They could be wearing itchy clothing and fabrics. They could have been exposed to irritating soaps, body washes, and detergents. This is another one that is often overlooked. And it may even just be a picking habit that they've developed, or it could be related to some kind of OCD they have, okay? And of course, the concern here is that no matter what the reason or cause may be, the constant scratching or picking of the skin or even the hair could be harmful. It could cause open wounds, bleeding, infection, scarring if they're picking at their hair, bald spots and open wounds on the scalp as well. And if the person has something like diabetes, it can increase the time that it takes for the wound to heal, which also increases the risk of infection, okay? So first things first is that we want to try to determine the root cause of the behavior. Why are they even picking and scratching at their skin to begin with? Because if we can determine the root cause of the behavior, then we can better address it. So for example, if the reason for the behavior is due to skin dryness, then we would want to make sure that we are keeping our partner hydrated, as well as making sure that their skin stays moisturized and hydrated as well through lotions, creams, moisturizers, whatever. If the reason for the behavior is due to a medication side effect, then we would want to make sure that we are communicating that side effect with the doctor so that it can be appropriately addressed. If the behavior is due to something like stress and anxiety, then we would want to see if there's any way that we can calm our partner down. We want to see if we can identify any triggers or stimulants in the environment and address those, okay? So it is really important that we take the time to investigate and try to determine what is causing the behavior because it's really helpful in informing how to best address the behavior, okay? But understandably, this process can take time and it may even take some trial and error. So what can we do in the meantime to prevent our partners from harming themselves? So I'll tell you, but first let me tell you what we do not want to do, okay? We never want to prevent our partner from scratching or picking at themselves if that's what they feel like they need to do. Why? Because imagine if you had a really bad itch or you just felt compelled to pick at something at your skin, but you couldn't because someone else decided to restrain you or put these big old mitts on your hand or these gloves that prevent you from doing what you feel like you need to do. That is something like torture, okay? And you can't be surprised if you notice an increase in behaviors like agitation, aggression, yelling and screaming, grunting, an increase in anxiety, and all the things that comes with that, okay? So in most cases, it's just not a good idea. So let's talk about some better ideas. So number one is keeping their nails filed and low so that if they do scratch or pick, they're doing less damage. Also making sure that they're practicing good hand hygiene to prevent the risk of infection, okay? Number two, even if you aren't sure if the problem is related to skin dryness, you still want to make sure that your partner is staying hydrated. So making sure that they are consuming plenty of fluids and water-rich foods, as well as making sure that their skin is staying hydrated, and even humidifiers can be an option. Just keep in mind that humidifiers may not be appropriate for everyone, okay? Number three, you can also try protecting their skin 
by having them wear clothing that covers the area that they often pick and scratch at. So this could be long sleeves, long pants, or even a headscarf if they can tolerate it. And then number four, which is a big one, is to provide distraction through purposeful activity or fidgets. Because if the hands are preoccupied, then they can't pick or scratch at the skin. And if the mind is preoccupied, then it's less likely that the person will hyper-focus on sensations that they may be feeling, okay? So please give your partner something to do that they would enjoy. And here I just want to show you an example of a fidget toy. This is by Relish and it's called the Tactile Turn, but there are many other options and I'll put them here on the screen and I'll also link them down below in the description box if you're interested in checking any of these out. One of my particular favorite that I'll mention is the one that you can put on their arm so that if they are picking at their skin on their arm or scratching in this area, you can put that on and they can pick at that instead, okay? So it kind of still satisfies the need to pick in this area, but they can mess with something else instead, okay? But that is all for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone else that you think it may benefit. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment. And if you would like to join us inside the treehouse for more content like this and exclusive content that only exists inside the treehouse to help you along your dementia care journey, please feel free to join us at letsbamboo.com treehouse. Okay, until next time. Bye guys.